Hello, friends. Elephants are highly intelligent animals that form strong bonds with their families. Mothers, grandmothers, and aunts all take care of newborn calves. There are also clear signs that families mourn when a baby elephant dies or is stillborn. It is incredibly touching to see the pain experienced by a mother elephant who has lost her calf. Her family and sisters come to the grieving mother and wrap their trunks around her to provide comfort. The mother and her sisters even separate from the herd until she is ready to return. It is truly heart-wrenching. Given this information, it is all the more incredible that humans still kill these amazing animals for their tusks. However, it is precisely why there are parks where the animals can roam freely while being protected by enclosures and fences. One such park is the Addo Elephant National Park in South Africa. In the conservation parks of South Africa, large game animals can live in an environment that closely resembles their natural habitat, all the while having people watching over them. Moreover, the park fences protect them from poachers. Additionally, the nature of the habitat allows the rangers to quickly intervene when an elephant is in danger. Meanwhile, people can observe these amazing animals from a safe distance from their cars without disturbing them. But sometimes, rangers have to intervene even without these safety barriers, and that can be quite a challenging task. One day, a baby elephant that was only a few days old fell into a pond. The calf was already quite heavy, but still too small to climb out without help. And the wild herd of elephants came together to save their youngest member. It is amazing to see how intelligent these giant animals are. They splashed water onto the edges to soften them, and then stomped their feet hoping to break the dam and make a way out for their calf. But the dam was quite sturdy, and despite their best efforts, they didn't make any progress. The baby elephant lay in the water for a bit, after which it desperately tried to climb out. Slipping and falling down, it lost all hope and simply stood in one place. People knew they needed to intervene, but the herd got in their way. When there's an imminent danger, the adults in the herd surround the smallest calves and protect them within the circle. No matter which direction the danger comes from, the calf is protected from all sides. Separating the herd from the calf wasn't an easy task. The employees of the national park found an excavator to try and dig a path out for the calf. Essentially, they had the same plan as the adult elephants. Theoretically, it was a good idea that should have worked. They brought over a huge machine and approached the dam. But when the elephants saw that the large device was getting too close, they became agitated. Adult elephants will protect their calves no matter what, even if they have to risk their own lives. Although the giant machine was probably quite intimidating to the animals, they wanted to protect their baby from the monster. As soon as the machine got too close, the elephant circled around the small calf and dragged it further into the water. It was getting too deep for the little elephant, so the situation was becoming even more dangerous. Since the calf was already exhausted and still very young, it couldn't swim for long. Rangers quickly abandoned this idea and came up with Plan B, which could quickly help the trapped calf but was very dangerous for the humans. They drove the adult elephants away using their vehicles. It wasn't an easy task, as the animals would do anything to get to the calf. They could have also attacked the vehicles. These thick-skinned creatures are known for their ability to seriously damage vehicles that anger or frighten them. Even being inside the car wasn't a guarantee for safety for the rangers. They kept their vehicles between the herd and the calf. It was very risky, but actually pulling the baby out of the water required even greater courage. Once the elephants were far enough, two rangers came into action. They ran to the pond and jumped into it. If the herd had made its way past the vehicles and back to the calf, they would see the two men touching the little elephant and it would all be over. However, being in the reserve is always dangerous. Let's not forget that the National Park isn't only home to nearly 700 elephants, but also to the Big Five. Those are the largest and strongest animals in Africa. 
They include, of course, the elephant, but also the lion, leopard, buffalo, and rhinoceros. But the park is also full of other wild and dangerous animals. While the men were fully focused on saving the baby elephant and the other rangers were busy holding back the herd, any of those animals could have snuck up on the men and caught them off guard. But they were willing to take that risk. The ranger at the pond managed to catch the baby elephant. It wasn't an easy task, as the calf was the size of a large dog but much heavier. The second man remained on the shore, and together they managed to push and pull the little elephant to a safe place. The poor calf was so exhausted and confused that it almost fell back into the water, but the rangers didn't allow that to happen. It was time to reunite the calf with its mother so she could take care of it. They struggled to lift it to the edge of the path and drove it closer to the rest of the herd. It was a spot where they could see the mother but still be safe enough to leave the calf and walk away before she appeared. The only problem was that the calf now believed that the rangers were its friends. When they put it down and tried to walk away, it chased after them. It was very sweet and entertaining, but the baby elephant had a worried mother waiting for it. So the rangers let it go and directed it towards the herd. This time, the mother saw her calf and started calling it. The little elephant jumped up and started running towards her. What the herd did next was very unexpected. As the rangers watched from a safe distance, the mother ran up to her calf and embraced it tightly with her trunk. The love on their faces doesn't require words to describe it. But then, these incredible animals went even further. The herd turned to the men and started thanking them with their trunks. They were grateful for their help in rescuing the calf. And that's all for today, friends. If this story touched you as deeply as it touched us, please like the video and don't forget to share it with your friends. Also, let us know in the comments, what do you think about elephants? Are they actually intelligent? Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.